more than 40 years, and today's been one of the biggest crowds in the history of this building. I want you to think back with me just for a couple of years, a little less than two and a half years ago. We had an election in this country, and we turned out. We had record turnout. We got some pretty good results. We didn't get everything we wanted as a result of that election, but we moved in the right direction again. Americans stopped moving backwards, started moving forward. But then we got complacent, or at least some people we know got complacent. And two years later, a lot of them just stayed home. And look what we got. Now there's people inside who are hoping that they're going to get this all through right now at the beginning of the new term, and we're going to forget about it before 2012. We're going to forget. We're not going to forget again, and we're not going to let the things that happened to us in the last election happen again. One of the worst things that happened, just to the southwest of us, we had a, a tremendous, tremendous conciliator and congressman in Mark Shower. And he was defeated, not because of what he did, because of what we didn't do, which was vote. We ended up with one of the most conservative members of Congress in the history of the country, Tim Wahlberg. And we have nobody to blame but ourselves. We can't forget, as we go into 2012, to get things started for this final session for this afternoon. Please welcome the man who still should be the congressman from the 7th District of Michigan, Mark Schauer. Thank you, Walt. Thank you all for being here. You look great. Now, are you done today? Are you going back home to deliver a message? That's what we've got to do. That's, uh, that's what I did uh, in Marshall a couple of days ago. Uh, I happen to be the hometown of the Speaker of the House. Uh, and I'll continue to be out there. I'll continue to be out there with you. But we need to send this message all over the state. So I'm happy to be here on behalf of the Blue Green Alliance. The Blue Green Alliance is a national partnership of labor unions and environmental organizations representing more than 14 million members and supporters from all over the country. Many of you and the work of the Blue Green Alliance is to increase the number and quality of green jobs here in Michigan and around the country. Now we recently launched the Jobs 21 campaign a statewide grassroots effort aimed at ensuring that Michigan wins the jobs and industries of the future and reaps the benefits of economic growth and a revitalized middle class. Now, we know here in Michigan we're recovering from the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression. And at one point, our unemployment rate was almost 15%. Over the last 15 years, we lost almost half of our manufacturing jobs right here in this great state. But we are at a defining moment. That's why we're here. We are at a defining moment. We have the opportunity and the drive to move our state forward with the jobs and industries of the 21st century. Smart policies that spur investments in the jobs and industries of the future. Things like renewable energy, energy efficiency, transportation infrastructure, and broadband, and many others can grow the Michigan economy, including our resurgent auto industry. And these will create good middle-class jobs and protect the environment for the next generation. And we're ready here in Michigan. We've got advancements in hybrid and electric vehicles, advanced battery technologies, wind and solar, so many other areas. We've got the engineering know-how, and we have the best workers in the world. We don't get there through deep cuts to the class.
classroom, whether to our neighborhood schools or to our great university. <laughs> we, we also don't get there by raising taxes on seniors and by raising taxes on low and middle income families. And we don't get there by rolling back the prevailing wage or basic worker rights. Michigan. Let me tell you, let me tell you what we need. Michigan needs a jobs plan. And those things aren't it. Right now, efforts are underway to roll back the state's prevailing wage law, prohibit project labor agreements on public projects, among other things. Not only do these laws ensure quality construction job, job that pays the bills and puts food on the tables of our families, but they ensure a quality product and safety on the job and safety for our people that use these things. Right? And shipping away at workers' rights will not create a single job. In fact, stripping workers of basic rights will damage the ability to negotiate, among other things, environmental and occupational health and safety protections that affect both our workplaces and our communities. That's not a job.